All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. Good morning. Good morning. Wake your ass up. Good morning. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, this is Torture Talk. This is the 8 a.m. show for you all, all y'all that want to know. Um, 12 o'clock show will be coming up and 6 o'clock show. So, look, man, let's get into it. So, your boy Academics is at it again. Uh, covering for your boy Drizzy, Drizzy, Drake. Uh, you know, Drizzy, Drizzy, Drizzy. That dude. So, look, we're going to get into that, man. We're going to... Uh, you know, watch the video and uh, get my commentary. Before I get into that, you know, I got to get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you are on the fence and you don't know if you want to subscribe, please let me work for your subscription today. Also, too, all the beautiful ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. Also, I don't sell no merch, but I do have content and that's free. If you want to leave a donation links will be on the screen cash app and all that good stuff they called me the hidden gem yes and i went from 1300 subscribers to almost 8000 i'm trying to reach 10000 before the end of next week thank y'all very much also too you know uh i love y'all i wanted to say that thank y'all appreciate y'all i love y'all and um yeah so let me know where you're from, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't really appreciate that, too. So, look, man, we're going to get right into it. And we right back, man. All right, so let's get to it. <laughs> Foul, niggas. No, some niggas see shit. They don't got to go all go get to Twitter or, you know, everybody don't got a platform, YouTube, to go out there and say that. Like, they, niggas see shit and, we, and just be off it. L let me ask you a question because I've seen Absol tweeted back in the day, like early on, maybe 2011, 2012, and he said Drake was helping Kendrick in a way kind of like um, become the artist that obviously eventually became. You don't find it weird that like, you know, Drake kind of assisted everybody, including the nigga was going against, and now it just feels like everybody, like, it's just like, fuck this guy. Part of it seems like... I totally disagree with that. I hate when niggas do this. Drake assisted everybody. So basically you're saying if Drake didn't do none of this for none of these people, they wouldn't have been the artist they are today. A nigga said Drake took Kendrick on tour and is the reason why Kendrick has classic albums now. It's the reason why people like Kendrick. I don't know if y'all know this, but Kendrick Lamar fans are nothing like Drake fans. The core Kendrick Lamar fan is not the same as the core Drake fan. Not even, it's not, it's like night and day. So when niggas say shit like that, I just have to laugh. And secondly, you ever think that maybe these people actually helped Drake become the person he is? Y'all acting as if because he did Take Care, was it his first album, not Take Care, it was uh, uh, Thank Me Later, Y'all acting as if, like, he was a mega star. He was big, but he wasn't a mega star. He wasn't a mega star. He just starting out. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't super big. So I would argue that even though he was a little bit bigger or bigger than them, he wasn't so far away that niggas couldn't catch him at the time. It just so happened he just had a lot of pull and a lot of things that he reached his hands into. You know what I'm saying? And he made his way around. Doesn't mean that he helped that he helped everybody. You ever think that maybe everybody helped him too? You know what I'm saying? Like from the outside looking in, like Jelsey. Uh, and, and that's that's where that's why I feel like the truth is in the details because <sighs> what think about this right now. For all that he's done, all all this. Uh, miraculous shit, you know what I mean? Love being shown. Why he just get his ass whooped like that in front of the world? Even when niggas you, tired of him winning, one, right? Number one hip hop platform in the world. Niggas he tired of him winning. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Cut it the fuck out. I hate when yo niggas be doing the most for Drake. 
bro, niggas is tired of him winning? What, bro, him winning so much or him having number one hits has nothing to do with the battle. He got washed. It had nothing to do with the battle. Because if that was the case, I'm sure Drake is still popular. I'm sure. So all the people in all these other countries, you think that they got tired of Drake winning? They, they, had, they, they don't even know about this battle. Maybe they do when it comes to not like us, but outside of that, they don't know about this battle. So, you, so they got tired of Drake winning too. So everybody in the whole world that supports Drake, they got tired of him winning. Get, get the fuck. That's some bullshit. Huh? Niggas tired of him winning. No, it's not about niggas tired of him winning. He literally just lost. It's not about nobody got tired of that nigga. There's a lot of niggas riding from him or, or like or like didn't think Kendrick Dot would even come like he came. Like people thought Dot Exactly. It's it's niggas like you who are literally on the internet still saying that Drake won. What are you talking about? Niggas got tired of him winning. Bro, it was a it was a, a one-on-one fight in the ball loss. That was it. We like nobody basically jumped in it and they just let it happen. So you're saying all the people that even on his side got tired of him winning because nobody stepped up. Nobody said nothing. Even the niggas that support him, they ain't say shit. So they got tired of him winning too. So I guess what Kendrick said in, in 616, I guess that's what he's saying. He's saying like, niggas don't want to see you here, bro. Maybe he's right about that. But it's not, it's not Kendrick's fault or it's not, it's his fault. It's Drake's fault. It's Drake's fault. Not because he makes number one hits. It's because he's a dickhead. That's why. And niggas don't fuck with him. Niggas don't fuck with him because he do dickhead shit. And he's a fucking slime doodle ball. That's it. There was no way, no way in fashion gonna be able to uh, fall out, pop out like he did. Niggas wasn't ready for Drake to lose. He just lost. Because he was out here lying, capping in. I think confrontation is not his thing. It's not his thing. Like, he got to be loved. Them, them tears got to be loud. Because if they not loud... We don't know how he is because he 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 been balling so high so long. We don't know how he reacts when he when he have a down season for a year or two. We don't really know. Yeah, he's smoking you, academics. He's smoking you right now. What he's saying is one hundred percent facts. The ball Drake is not a confrontational dude. He got people around him, these goons, so called goons that he got around him, but he's not a confrontational dude. He don't know how to handle conflict because he doesn't come from that. He lives his life in uh, as if if this is a movie. You know what I'm saying? You look at his 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 past, his past and how he grew up. You would really think that he thinks that he's in a movie. Like he's like he's a uh, uh, the new age the new age uh Toronto Scarface or some shit. That's what you would think. Keem, let me ask you this question. This is because by the way, I disagree with like so much of what you said, but I I, I do want to ask you this question. <laughs> When I first heard Euphoria, I remember it being in the car. I was driving to the liquor store. I was going somewhere, and I made a, I made a sharp turn to the liquor store because I said, I got to get on stream immediately. And I'm playing the song, and I played it back and back and back and back. And the lyrics that stood out to me was this. And the niggas say, yo, say, I hate the way you walk or the way you talk. I hate the way you, like, you said, I'm the biggest hater. And I said, yo, Kendrick. But here's the thing, right? And this is what act not understanding, right? When someone says they hate you in a rap, this is a rap battle. And that right there does not mean that Kendrick is a hater because he mentioned he hates you. That doesn't mean he's a, that means that he despised the way you're acting and the way you are moving. He does not, it does not mean he's a hater as if, because if he was a hater, he would have been doing shit against you the whole time. He would have made sure that you couldn't come to Cali. He would have made sure all this if he was a hater. You know what I'm saying? But he hate what he hates what you stand for doesn't mean that he's a hater. I don't know if y'all following me because there's a big difference between the two. Because some people would think because they hate what you stand for means they are they are a hater. If you want to use that as a okay, well he is a hater, but he hates what you stand for. But there has to be. You have to break down the details of it. And I know it sounds like I'm spitting some mental gymnastics, but I'm really not. You have to break down the difference between being a hater and hating how somebody moves. 
is a total different thing. But overall, if you want to say, well, he is a hater and you want to use that in, a, in that context, I can understand. But at the same time, you have to ask the question after that. Well, what are you hating on or what is the heat? And you say, listen, I don't like how you represent something. And that's what that meant. He's just admitting He's a fucking hater. I said, hip hop is going to roast this nigga in oblivion. Nobody likes a hater. You don't think it's a little bit odd that 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 at least initially out Kendrick popped out. He just said, I'm a hater. That's not that. But that's that goes right back to my point. The people understand what he's saying because they know he's not a hater. They know he just doesn't like certain things that Drake does. And people point out that they don't like either. That's what it is. He says, I hate the way you walk. I hate the way you talk. I hate the way you dress. A lot of niggas hate the way Drake talks because he flips his, he flips his, his, uh, different languages or different tones or whatever you want to call it. He spits this or oh, one day he's Jamaican. Other day he's, he's from Kuwait or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Then he said, I hate the way you walk. I hate the way you talk. He don't, people don't like because he pretends like he's swag. He got swag. People don't like that. That's what he's talking about. You know what he's talking about. Come on, act. That doesn't do nothing. Like, if anybody else, like, people, you know what people get at me for? They say, act, you just a hater. Why are you hating on so-and-so? Why are you hating on so Kendrick admitted he's the biggest hater. And everybody was like, oh, that sounds amazing. Okay. He said, it's never been about love and hate. It's always been about, uh, 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 it's always been about hate. Now, let me say I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way you walk. I hate the way you talk. I hate the way that you dress. I hate the way you sneak this. If I catch flight, it's going to be direct. We hate the the way, you, um, what do you say something about? Um, I hate the bitches you fuck because they confuse themselves with real women. And notice that I said we, it's not just me. I'm with the culture feeling. So it's not just him, nigga. That's what he's saying. You niggas don't be paying attention. Y'all hear what y'all want to hear. He literally said that it's not just me. You know what I'm saying? I'm with the culture's feeling. Everybody, everybody doesn't like that you're a fake. It's not that they're hating on you. They hate that you're fake. They hate what you stand for. That's what they're saying. That's what he's saying. It's a big difference. Yeah, man. how field he is again, though. Uh, one of these got, goddamn Instagram memes can kind of like probably uh, tell you what that was about. It don't make sense though. Like I said, a lot of people love Drake. Like I'm not. I'm not here to even act like I never. Like I Drake music. Like it's a lot of Drake music I listen to. It's a lot of Drake music. It is what it is. The, the boy that made several hits. It is what it is, but I'm I'm one of them people that I, I I watched Drake start this whole shit up too. We all have. He's been corny for real, for real, for real, like for real. But then he got like like you know 2K when you can just keep on applying like new shit. You know what I'm saying? Get you the uh, V bucks, and so he just got souped up through the industry and, and through his connection. That is a hundred percent facts. He's always been a fucking cornball clown. It's like it's like this. Just imagine somebody where you know that this person is a goofball. You know they're a goofball, and you know they're not about that life, and you know that this motherfucker. And then the following year, you see them, and they represent. Now, you know that these, this motherfucker was born somewhere else, came from over here. He's a good, he's a good church-going, pennies-in-his-shoe-loafer-ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? That nigga. You know he's a good boy. You know what I'm saying? And the following month or the following week or, or, or three weeks or a year or whatever, now he's a gangster now. Now he, now he, he, he know what he, now he know what he talking. He, now he know about the streets. It's like, that's what people don't like about Drake. You know what I'm saying? He flipped the script and now he acts as if like he's this tough, the toughest man ever. <laughs> and he made it work. But him at core base, that's what I feel like what Doc was saying. Like, bro, you don't knock it off. Because it's Isn't not even you. Fake, like, you. You so much in cosplay, bro. You, you so much in cosplay role, you you not even giving us uh, Aubrey no more. You yeah. Isn't just that fake, though? this motherfucker. Isn't that fake? Because th th there was a point that Kendrick clearly collaborated with him. He he put Kendrick on his uh, on Take Care. Kendrick had an interlude. He brought Kendrick on tour. Kendrick was appreciative of this. Again, niggas are not listening to these songs. They're just basically saying he basically told he basically told on 
after Marvin's room, the buried alive John, Kendrick talked about that, the encounter between him and Drake. And he was basically saying Drake was telling him that he's going to get swallowed up by telling Kendrick that Kendrick could get swallowed up by the industry. And he's saying in, in that song, he's saying that it's not going to be me. It's going to be you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be me. And this is the reason why Drake responded on on with the Family Matters, uh, the the what's the name John on um his Instagram, the first p- part of Family Matters that most people didn't hear. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you sound that sound like me, 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 that John. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it'll be the death of me, the death of me, that John. You know what I'm saying? I don't think people say it was AI, but it was on his Instagram. You know what I'm saying? So that John right there, yeah. To, but but to speak on what he just said, isn't that fake? How is that fake? If a nigga find out that you are a certain way and you're not who you say you are, we're going to have a problem. So how am I being fake? Oh, you let me get on your album. I didn't diss you. I didn't come right, right out and diss you. I didn't say, oh, this nigga corny. I worked, the, I worked the room just like you did. And you continuously took shots at me and I took shots at you. But then I came at your ass and killed you. That's it. When when did the fake? When did Kendrick have this eureka moment? Like, oh, you're a fake ass nigga. After you've helped, it could me. happen on tour. Shit, it could happen on tour. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Don't I, let's not let's not make it to where like just because you was cool with somebody or just because whatever the relationship was on the, on the good side, it was that that people don't find out new things or just see your character unfold and be off it. Like that's life. So yeah, man. That's the thing about that's the thing about these people, man. Especially academics and Maul and all them. They always want to cover for Drake as if that's his their brother or something. And I just seen academics say he never met Drake in his life. He only texted him. How you know you even texting Drake? You know what I'm saying? You could be texting somebody else that's pretending to be Drake that is in his camp. You don't know. But you know what I'm saying? But let's just assume that he does. But even with that being said. How can how can you say Kendrick is a hater or these people they don't know or I can't believe that uh that they was hating on him and everybody wanted to see him fall? Yeah, listen, nigga, it's all fair in love and war. You gotta understand when you're at the top, everybody want a gun for the king. So if you claiming that you're the king, you said you was Michael Jackson, the new Mike. So you gotta understand if you're claiming that you're the top of the mountain, you're the king. Yeah, they are gonna shoot you off of there. That's how it goes. They're getting you out of here. And the same thing would happen to Kendrick if he got to the top. You think people ain't going to try to get him out of here? You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. That's how it goes. Any, it, in any situation, it's like that. Any situation. Football, basketball, any, any, it, everybody strives to be the best. It's not that they want um, to hurt you or anything. It's basically like, look, you're good and I'm better. And then somebody come along after you become, say, you're good, but I'm better. They do it with cars. My car is better than your car. They do it with, with game systems. Xbox is better than PlayStation. PlayStation is better than Xbox. Nintendo this. You know what I'm saying? That's how it goes. So for you to sit here and act as if, like, you got to give Drake a pass because, oh, niggas was tired of him being at the top. Okay. What did he do to stay there? He got the numbers to probably back him, but, at, but outside of that, he can't battle. He can't. He can't battle, man. So, either way, man, y'all have yourselves a good morning, man. Just wanted to throw that in y'all ear. All right, man, I'm out of here. See y'all. Peace. Bye.